Fellow dear friends, I want to tell you something without wasting time because uh, my time is limited at this moment. I want to inform you that Biafra nation is going to be number one most powerful nation in Africa. And at the same time, going to open the eyes of many Africans to see that they have been living in darkness and uh, at the same time, marginalization and uh, colo colonization, uh, which is not supposed to be so. As I'm talking with you now, I know that many of you have taken many things for granted. The evil that comes from Nigeria, tribal vibrations that kills, vampires that sucks blood from uh, Nigeria. But what we are about to do or what we are doing, which we have started it, is to make sure that no Biafran blood is uh, touched ground, that Biafrans shall not be used for earthly cleansing any moment. As I'm talking with you, um, Biafra Liberation Armies are about to welcome uh, thousands of Biafra uh, police security forces uh, from different parts of the world, you know. When I said that uh, what is coming up is beyond the understanding of Nigeria government and their cohorts, terrorists, they don't seem to believe it and they don't understand it because the power of Biafrans is coming from exile. The government of Biafra is coming from exile. And everything that Biafrans are doing in order to make sure that Biafra nation is restored and uh, become sovereign. Everything is coming from exile, which Biafrans are not the first to practice this because in the, it's, it is in the ampit of the international co constitution. So for this reason, I want to tell you wholeheartedly or ho holistically that nobody can stop Biafra nation from coming and nobody can stop um the, the Prime Minister of Biafra, and nobody can extradite him, nobody can arrest him, because he committed no offense, and he did not offend anybody. So there he is in Finland, and doing what he's supposed to do for the emancipation of his people. I didn't see it to be a crime, but it is a, 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 a good thing, because somebody dying unnecessarily is not... Uh, the will of God, and I don't think that there is anybody that is relative who should die untimely or by the hands of terrorists that will be happy. And sometimes all this kidnapping and raping and um, what have you, wanton killings going on, you see that the government of Nigeria sit on it and they are not ready to report anything about it. Nigerian newspaper does not carry anything relevant as a news. And um, you, 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 you are waiting for Niger police to divulge the secret things that is going on in Nigeria. You are wasting your time because corruption have eaten deep as a loathsome in the body of the Nigeria government because the, their system of um, judiciary and their system of government is not does not have human face and it does not tally with that one of the whole world. The whole world are trying to practice democracy, but Nigeria is practicing oligarchy and autocratic government. What I'm telling you this moment is that whether you like it or not, um, what will it be, will it be? Whatever that goes around must still come around because we are not ready to relinquish or to release our ancestral land to any fugitive or bundles of foods that we don't know where they are coming from. And why I'm alerting you this moment is because there is fear in Nigeria government uh, 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 heart. And at the same time, in Nigeria lawmakers, they are panicking because they thought that Mazi Simon Eba was joking. And uh, this joke, they call it a joke that have gone too far. And that really joke has gone too far to the extent that it has gone beyond the Rubicon. That there is nothing that can make that joke to be returned or revised. Because enough of killing of our people, we, we, we have decided not to tolerate it. 
and we have decided that if it is the last farden in our pocket, it shall be spent for Biafra to uh, come. We shall do it. As we have laid down our lives by taking our destinies into our hands to determine where we should be and where we shouldn't be. So as I'm talking with you, um, your prime minister is doing a lot. Uh, I don't know from your own angle how you are looking at it and what you feel in your heart. Because many people are still very skeptical concerning the coming of Biafra or the restoration of Biafra, which I want to tell you now that there is nothing much there. It's your effort that is needed. Your voice is needed. Your money is needed. Your material is needed. And at the same time, your presence is needed. Those who cannot be able to fight can be able to say something, can bring good advice that can be able to help us to move forward. And those, because it's not everybody will be, will be soldier, not everybody will be police in Biafra land. So civilians are there and um, many other people are there. So we need your cooperation um, in all ramifications of life, only if you love Biafra and Biafrans. Because Biafra nation cannot be stopped. It is inevitable. It is an irresistible force that nobody can stop it is a mighty flood if you try to resist the flood from passing it will carry you away both you and your house and whatever you feel that you are for your information before i wrap up this moment there are people who felt unbeatable but today the hammer is being used on their heads because they believe that as they have criminals securities all over them around them they are busy eating Nigerian money and bezeling Nigerian money and they can they, they believe they can use money to stop Simon Epa just like the so-called president of Nigeria quickly ran his mouth and said if he be become a president of Nigeria, you know, that is tenable that they will make sure that the issue of Biafra agitation dies naturally. And um, today, I don't know uh, uh, the agitation of Biafra and the Tinubu who, uh, who is stumbling, who is dying, and who is falling. Tinubu is falling, fell down from vehicle, hit his head on the iron and on the floor on, uh, on the day of parade in Ego Square, Abuja. So, um, Biafra has not fallen one, once, uh, all right? The only thing is that you people are trying by all means to frustrate the effort of uh, Mazen Nam Namdekano and Mazen Simon Eba from getting uh, Biafra to Biafrans. But I want to tell you that no matter whatever you do, it cannot be stopped. As you people are moving forward to deter and delay the release of Mazen Namdekano, that is how Biafrans are getting wise and wiser and waxing stronger and stronger every day on daily basis and i want to tell you quickly now that as you are delaying the, the release of mazen and in the dss custody don't forget that you are promoting him today mazen and is well known in the whole world that if he comes out to say anything in the whole world today everybody will welcome him give him cheer listen to him but tinibu if he comes out as a president of nigeria to say anything, nobody will mind him because he has nothing to offer. And looking at him physically, you will see that this has completely expired. And there's nothing inspiration that can come out of him. I mean, nothing good will come out of Tinibu and nothing good will come out of Nigeria. Because looking at the structure that is holding Nigeria, the pillar holding Nigeria is rotten. And uh, you go to the uh, judiciary system, it has nothing to write to them about. They violate law, they violate treaties, they violate their own law. And that is why they are being called zoo. So what I'm telling you this moment is that wherever you are listening to me, now your effort is needed. We are no more talking about it. We have put it into practice and on a daily basis. We go into the field to meet with our match because what we are looking at is Nigerian military terrorists, Nigeria police, Nigeria DSS, those people that always run down to Biafra land for wanton killing, madness killing. So we, uh, our eyes are on them to make sure that we stop them and stop them permanently. That if they said they must come to Biafra land to shed blood, the person will not go back alive. 
just as you make up your mind to come and keep Biafrans, you will die before you reach Biafra land. So, what I'm saying this moment is that every modality is in place and every option is on the table to make sure that Biafra nation stands and to make sure that if it is war, Biafrans are out. If it is peace, Biafrans are out in order to take what belongs to them. So, because it has taken long that um, Nigeria have been marginalizing and killing Biafrans innocently with impunity and um, many people today that are being looked for you cannot tell they are worried about these are the people that Nigeria government murdered secretly they have killed many youths in biafra land many elders and many children pregnant women and that's why we say they committed the war crime because in war you don't touch women you don't touch children so you only face men so like yourself and these are people who don't have even a stick on their hands. Then you, what primarily you are doing is to behead them. And you call yourself a soldier, you call yourself a, 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 a police officer, you call yourself DSS, whatever you call yourself. I don't think you merit that position because I know that Nigeria cannot compete with international community or any country in Africa in terms of militarization or military strength. In terms of skill, in terms of confrontation for war, Nigeria can do nothing, absolutely nothing. I'm telling you the truth, because the people you are seeing are fallen headsmen that we are given military uniform and the police uniform, DSS uniform, and give them rank. And the fallen headsmen become a pilot eh, in Nigeria. They are the one who piloting the affair of um, Tukano Jet that Buhari acquired from United Nations in order to kill Biafrans with it. Buhari deceived Antonio, Antonio Gororo, uh, Gutoro of uh, America that they are going to use the Tukano Jet to fight the terrorists in Sambisa Forest and many other places. So not knowing that the Buhari is acquiring those Tukano Jet for Biafrans to be killed. And um, I believe that systematically today it is real because some of us, our brains are very dull. It's not working fast. But when it happened, you say, oh, I have heard this, but I never knew that it is true. I never knew it was going to uh, come to, to pass. But you have seen many have come to pass. What is your reaction? What do you do? What do you intend doing? So if we should keep silent as a people, as a race, as a, a tribe as a nation, then the enemies will fi finish us. Just take a look on how they have been killing us and they go into our youth. You know that the youth are the heart of every nation, every country is the youth. So, but they barge into the midst of our youths and begin to slaughter them, butcher them, killing them, killing them by all means. And this is why we say enough is enough. We cannot condone it anymore cannot condole it. So, for this reason, we decided to develop headquarters and branches all over the world to make sure that our pursuit comes to reality. Biafrans are qualified to be a nation on their own. Biafrans are qualified to be sovereign. Biafrans have everything it takes. You talk of money, talk of education, intellectual, you talk of uh, uh, mentally sound, you, 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 you talk of um, wealth, riches, you talk of investment in the whole world. I want to tell you that in the whole Africa as a whole, Biafran stands number one richest tribe. So I will leave you here till we meet again. Bye for now.